join the group. Join, join AMP. Join this. Let me tell you something, bro. What, what's meant to happen, it'll happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody in this chat should ever be the type of nigga to force themselves into something that they don't even fit in. You know? If other people feel like you fit into it, cool. You know what I'm saying? And then if the group feel like you fit into it, cool, bro. You know? Then that's when shit get rolling. But if you just come out of nowhere and you just feel like you just this person that's on top of the world and you just got to be in you just got to be in this type of spotlight because you feel like you that nigga, bro, you not the fit for the group, bro, because that's not what the shit is about, bro, at all. And obviously, I just feel like they group was just about making money. Basically, I mean, which is the goal. It is everybody's job, but at the same time, if you're so focused on making money, then you forget about the core reason of why you started it, to have fun. I never want to be one of those niggas that just force myself into a group or into a, a, a situation that I wasn't really meant for. Unless I earned it, you know what I'm saying? Or unless I bring something to the table. If you don't bring shit to the table, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, I hate niggas that don't bring nothing to the table, but want the whole damn fucking table. It's annoying. But let's watch this AMP, not AMP, Mopey video. Read the chat. What's up, guys? Today, I want to take a quick break. That is not Mopey. Why the fuck is my ad block not working? Break. And speak to my fellow Georgians and encourage each and every one of you. Bro, I sw what the fuck are we voting for, bro? What is niggas in Georgia voting for again? I probably sound ignorant, but I really don't know. I've been trying to listen to this ad, but every it's a Baltimore bitch, and then it's a is her voice is just annoying, and it pop up on Twitch, bro. It's so annoying. Who are registered to vote to participate? Right. What's up, you, you guys? See? It's annoying. It's Mopey. Oh, the Senate! By the title and the tweets that have already gone out on Twitter, you guys already know what is going on here most likely, and yes, I am uh, I am leaving to hype, and um, I'm going to be talking about why in this video. Before getting into things, I want to make a few things clear. Uh, first few being that I turned down being in the 100 Thieves deal, and I chose to leave to hype. Damn. Um... I'm not doing YouTube for the money or the clout. I don't like that word, but I've got to use it. It's not fame. It's just it's clout, internet clout. I'm not doing it for either one of those things. And um, I got Hey, y'all niggas can stop telling me to what whatever the fuck y'all niggas are saying. Suck my balls. Got serious issues with four of the people in the sick. Mopey is not a junkie. Members of the group. Um, not counting Cash and Mitchell. I got I got respect for them, but the rest of them, no. And for anybody thinking I'm making this video for money or clout, you are sadly mistaken because I walked away from so much money. You guys have no idea. So much money. And uh, so much clout, too. <laughs> because I don't... I'm not about, like... I could have faked it. I could have faked it and gone along with everything and been a part of 100 Thieves. I would have loved to be a part of 100 Thieves. Uh, and that would have been a lot of money, too. But, um, no, I'm, I'm not doing it for those reasons. I'm doing YouTube for fun, and being around those guys is not fun. Knowing all I do now about the group, I would not Wait, be able to, like... Wait, it helps with the volume if you speed it up? Let me tell you something, bro. Javante Davis is not doing the King Ryan... Not, not doing shit to King Ryan as long as I'm alive. ...within myself and be happy... Knowing I'm staying with these guys, knowing all that they have done. So, no, he not. I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm leaving. No, he's I'm, not. I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but I am not being around those people. <laughs> and getting into talking about everything. All um, right, they Mopey, said, I love you, bro. How did he predict that though? Plan video 1.25 speed help. But there's a lot to possibly take away from this and just know about the online scene. But I've just been um, completely used. Uh, just uh, used, used, and abused. Uh, like <laughs> okay, why is it like this nigga rapping now? 
used online, my, my mopey personality, um, and abused, like, as Tyler. Wait, wrong one. No, that's the right one. Like, everybody just forgetting about Tyler and only caring about Mopey, and Mopey showing up for the videos, everybody just, just doesn't care about Tyler, and, um, they will, they're gonna say otherwise, like, when I put out my tweet, they all just tried saying they helped me out more than anyone, showing texts of support, like, all that stuff, but, no, I'm not, I'm not having some fake agenda, like, that, like, fake agenda that went out with, like, TD and Lowe's go out there, like, I'm saying the truth. So, again, nothing to talk about with Cash and Mitchell, they're good people, but, um, yeah, going into... Each one of the individuals that I have issues with, I'll start out with Jesser because everybody's probably wondering, like, was 1.1 custom. That your friend since elementary school, which, like, yeah, he was. He's gone, though. It's just Jesser. There is no Jesse. And um, he's been doing some really nasty stuff that, um,. I don't ever care to see him again or talk to him again. First of which, that happened more recently, but I'll get into stuff that happened over the year and past years, but, and Chris, Chris was supporting this too, and, but, Jesse saying I'm fighting serious, serious demons, and he's worried about me, and basically <laughs> That's fucked just painting me out to be, like, mentally unstable because I put out my L-Hype tweet, like, I can't, I can't describe how I feel about the manipulation and, like, the disgust That's fucked up. what he's doing. I never thought that getting into YouTube years down the line, I would be having my own brother manipulated by Jesser and tried to be used against me as a manipulation strategy by him to think to make people think that he cares about me and that he's reaching out to my family to support me. Like, it. Danny, it, thanks I, for the reset. I can't even like it's it's crazy. It, I can't I can't. I'm speechless. I don't know how to form words right now because it's so ridiculous. After I saw Mark, Jesse talk months. about my brother in his video and my mom too, but which is 100% not okay with me, um, I texted my brother and this is what he said. Uh, I can't imagine how we It's all good, bro. He did some weird shit with mom too. He's so fucked up. Check out the first minute. I just saw it. I'm upset because he called me yesterday and he said he wanted to keep everything offline. Yeah, he posted a video the next day and includes me in it. He told me about all the hate he has been getting, so he's trying to make himself look better i'm so sorry it's all good it's not your fault please don't be sorry i'm going to say the truth and it'll all be good i talked to your brother for an hour bro jesse 37 minutes what i'm so confused so who the fuck is preston oh that's bro brother that's mopey's brother I got to add, hold up, okay. How is his brother a op, nigga? You're fucking retarded. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> it was for him to be talking to Jesser and... Like, they've never talked before, and he's trying to make it out like he was trying to help me. Listen, bro, there's too much internet for me. You know, we we let that shit we let that shit go in the streets, bro. This shit, all oh, them making videos and shit, man. Look, the only video that's going to be made is goddamn with your mama crying on the news, nigga. We ain't got, that's all the, all the internet shit, all these videos and shit, bro. We ain't really got time for all this shit, for real. Like, this shit really blow me because they, they doing too much, bro. You know, like, this shit just... Leave that shit in the streets, bro. For real. By talking to him on the that phone, just, and then he just that's just a Atlanta nigga line. point of view, though. Like, it, I, I don't even know what to say. And in the speaking of Atlanta, why the fuck? You know, you know. Okay, y'all know it don't make me gay when y'all tweet me in these um, male strip club videos saying "damn Bruce" and all this other shit, and. What makes it worse is niggas spam my DMs with them. So they looking at the video every single day. I just had to get that out of there, bro, when I said Atlanta, bro, because niggas is... The, the eyes, too. Like, he probably just rubbed his eyes and started to just get watery eyes. Like, it's it's an act. It's all manipulation act. He does not care. He only cares Wicked, thank you for 13 months. Hold his online image. Lamonji, thank you for the five months. That's all they... That's all, all, that's all they... That's all they all care about. That's it. And they'll say and do anything to keep that. I got to take accountability for not being entirely open with how bad things were with me this year, but I was open enough and things were 
visible enough to see that I needed help and Jesse was never there for me. Jesser. It's not even Jesse anymore. It's just Jesser was never there for me. And Damn. When I talked to him in person and he said I hugged him and tried to use it against me, whatever, like, he, he hugged me. I wish I said just, like, I don't get away, like, whatever. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he asked he, he asked me what my goal was with the LI tweet and if I wanted a bag. Like, he wasn't going there to check on me or really talk to me. He was trying, he was, and he, he made me feel bad. He tried to make me feel bad about the hate he was getting. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, and the fact that he tries using the rent that he helped me out with and that he helped me out with my channel in the first place, and he uses that against me to, like, keep me under his thumb, it's... Listen, man. If y'all got a friend that throws shit in y'all face, bro, it's not your friend. It's not your friend, like, at all. Or if they just feel like they on top or just above because they just got more, they feel like they got more than you, it's not your friend, bro. Frederick, I was never your fucking friend to begin with. Like, it's just not your friend, bro. It's terrible. It's not friendship. I That's not a friend. Because of all the stuff that's been <laughs> happening, I, I wish I never took his help. And I almost wish I didn't go and go move into the YouTube house in your Belinda. I wish I just went to college sometimes and didn't get, like, this deeply involved in any of this because how bad it's turned out. Like, I've, I've literally just been a pawn, I feel like, to his grind to 10 million. No kidding, my niece. Like, yeah, help me out with that stuff. But it's all because he just needs people around him to make videos. And um, supporting that feeling that I have of being just used. Um, when we made the VR channels, he took 51% of my VR channel. Like, all those channels were just started up for money because VR channels were the fastest growing at the time. He took 51% of my channel and then bragged about it. Like, I heard that. And he'll deny that or whatever, but that shit stuck in my brain and I can never believe how this dude... 50... Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said Wesser. <laughs> So, out of 100, Jezzer got 51%. This nigga, okay, Mopey, okay. So, he was letting a, 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 at the time, probably 18, 19 year old kid. Can say that about his friend, elementary school friend that he. Owned. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't even say nothing, bro, because I got some. I got, I got, I got niggas that that'll never see the money that they that they uh bet it, <laughs> bet it, bet it <laughs> with me. They'll never see that shit a day in their fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, they'll never see that shit a day in their motherfucking life, bro. I'm just so I can't, I can't even say shit, bro. <laughs> something to brag about like it, it, it's like nothing i want to be around and another story too just how like selfish this dude is and actually all the guys this applies to all of them oh but shit we were in a discord call when it was time for muji to join too like, we were talking and i put i was i was put it out there i was like hey is anybody else willing to give up a percent or two so mitchell feels more part of the group ah. nobody wanted to damn He's just on a tiny salary now mitchell doesn't own a percent of 2a Jesser was not willing to give up 1% for our elementary school friend, one of the dudes that adds the most to the group, pure, good person, funny, entertainment. These guys in Jesser could not give up 1% for him. What? Giving up a percent. He could have had 6% to it. That would have been, that sounds amazing to me. But no, he's just on a tiny salary because they can, because it's a business. It's not for fun. It's not for fun or friendship. It's a business. And the thing that makes it so annoying is they try to paint it as not a business and it's all about the friendship and all of them doing it for fun. It's like, no, stop being so, like, stop trying to keep the greediness and selfishness in the dark. Like, that's what's aggravating for the people that have been abused by it. Like, own up to the shit. Like, stop lying. Like, it, like, it's so bad. That's fucked like, up, bro. Like, the sidemen are a great example. Like, they're a wannabe sidemen, but they're terrible people. Like, what else would you expect from a wannabe Simon group from L.A.? Like, it's bound to be fake as hell. 
just greedy, selfish, self gain, like all of that. So, Simon, Simon are amazing because they're genuine. They're, they're they do something fair. They don't abuse people on the business side. I like I found out some stuff on the business side that's like, what the hell? I don't care about the money like that, but I want to be treated equal. I want to be treated with respect. You know what will be smart though? I don't know. I don't know if niggas will be like. <clears throat> The smart thing for these niggas to do is to make their own group. <laughs> like, that would be the smart thing for them niggas to do, bro. Like, in this situation, bro, instead of just, it would be for them to make their own group, bro. Like, TD, Mopey, Los, bro, it would be smart for them to make their own group, but... I mean, niggas already done got situated. Niggas done already, you know what I'm saying? Most of them niggas, they not, they they they, they probably don't even upload for real and shit like that. But I don't know. It won't fail. Hell no, it won't fail. And that didn't happen. Like they're just not. They're just like they're not humans. They're they're not real people anymore. They have ascended past humans, normal people, and they're YouTube gods. They are YouTube gods. Now. But. You right, y'all right. They just had the worst situation and shit. Yeah, you right, yeah. And they, um, you right, they just, y'all they right. Decisions, like, um, <laughs> Respectfully, nobody watching that shit. <laughs> but, uh, Jesse, Jesser and Chris were talking to TD about kicking me out of the old house in your Belinda because I was... Hey, that way, Jake, thank you for the... Uh, for, um, I was not uploading. Much. I never knew that. Y'all like, niggas well, funny, bro. Know they were kicked and, and mounted. <laughs> they were kicked until it was already a decision. Yo, they but they would have ate. feel the need to like have normal conversations. They just make terrible decisions on their own. Like, and it's just, it, it's, they're, it's nothing to be around unless you're a part of, a part of it and want to just, uh, I don't even know. I'm, gl- I'm so glad I'm out of it. And, and the weird thing is too, they're in denial. Like, they're just so deep in their own lies and just thinking that they're right and that everyone else is just the bad people just going out, out to get them. It's like something something he said to me was, all change is good change. It's like, so nobody can get lost in the money, in the, the internet clout? Nobody can lose themselves? That's All change is good change. Any nigga that says that to you, just gotta, you just got to stop being friends with them, bro. You just got to stop being friends with them, bro. <laughs> All change is not good change, nigga. Especially if it's your elementary school friends. All change is not good change. Hell, fuck no. Nah. Niggas can change for the worse. Some niggas can change for the better for the worse. And some niggas can just change for the absolute complete fucking worse. It's all about... To me, it's all about staying the same but adjusting. You know what I'm saying? You got to adjust to cer- like certain shit. Certain shit that you can't say. Certain shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to just adjust. You got to learn and adjust. You don't have to change. Unless you're just a complete. It's, it's no changing if you're just a complete fucking weirdo though. It's not a thing. Like I've seen how this dude talks to people. Like his like editors and people out in public. Like working people. And it makes me sick. It's like again. Just YouTube gods like. Looking down on people, talking down on people, talking shit about people, because apparently they feel like they can. Like apparently they feel like they're the next American Sidemen and they can do whatever they want. It's like yeah. it, it's their heads are just split. Thank you for three their months. Heads are gonna fall off. They're getting so big and they can't. Like I can't. I don't even. I'm making. I'm trying to make a joke. So I can't even. I can't. I don't know. Another situation that stands out in my mind is we were we were out eating. It was Chester, a friend of ours, and and me, and we were at Cheesecake Factory eating outside. We didn't even have our food yet, and. Jester sees this kid, like, walk by or whatever, and we can kind of see when someone's kind of, like, looking back and might recognize us, and he's, like, just begging for the kid to not, like, walk over and say hi. And it's, like, it's a little kid and his dad. Like, what? Like, no, please don't come over here. Like, leave us alone. No. Like, I swear. And it's, like, this kid, it's probably going to make this kid's day at, at least day, probably a week, or something like that, just meeting Jester. But the- I did. <laughs> I did not. I've never done no shit like that in my life. 
<laughs> I've never done no shit like that in my life, bro. And they was not talking about me. <laughs> bro. If I like if a nigga noticed me in real life or whatever the case may be, then I I bro, like none of y'all niggas never, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> So, bruh, I just run from every nigga that notices me in real life now. <sighs> bro, I, right, bro, whatever. I, right. <laughs> hey, nah, bro, that's actually funny as hell. Hey, imagine I just run from every nigga that'd be like, hey, that's Bruce Jump. <laughs> a nigga to hit a faux flat, bro. That shit's so funny, hell nah. <laughs> The other side of it oh is my god waiting for him to not come over and say hi chris <laughs> put this in jesser like that he's better and doesn't need to like talk to the people that support him and it's like it's it's nasty and i feel i feel bad as a friend that i couldn't help stop that happening. but <laughs> hell no that shit but that shit got my cheeks so rosy that, like these terrible attitudes about just just life just completely just change this dude and then thinking it's okay to paint me as mentally unstable online, yeah, just because I'm up. saying like I'm saying f the group, l hype, and he's trying to like it's just so mind boggling how like what happened, and it's really sad. But I um I'm just getting away from it. I'm not gonna rack my brain over trying to change people. They're just so deep in their own ways. It's like I'm just leaving, I'm not being a part of it. Moving on to Jidel, um, this dude fuck that has nigga treated me like trash for so long now. Um, in the videos and outside of the videos, this, um, this attitude that he would have in my videos of not giving a shit, like, he would put a smile on for his videos, listen to Snap like that, and for my videos, he would just look like he does not want to be there, and just acts like a terrible, just a terrible person just to have in the videos, and, um, yeah, I, I talked to Jesse about this, and he said he noticed it, that he actually treats my videos not even other people's, like specifically mine, less than others, and cares less. I talked to Chris about it too. He said the same thing that he noticed it, and um, when I tried talking to Jidel about it, he said I'm sorry. Or he said, he said he noticed it. Thank y'all for the get the sun, bro. I appreciate y'all niggas. But in this video, I was looking off to the side at Mitchell off camera, da 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 da, da just like excuses. Like I didn't confront him about this issue for a while that's on me that's on me that they let it go on again but bro just, all right let's I'm, let's just get this clear. i don't run from supporters in real life bro i don't run don't don't that's not a thing i i've been i'll go into some stuff later but yeah i've just been pushing off a lot of my issues and that was one of what the now. fuck is this film <laughs> <laughs> hey that's bro <laughs> Hey, hell no. It just really goes to show that this <laughs> dude was low-key hating on me for a while because this same situation happened back at the Yorba Linda house where I said, can you please act better? Please expose this nigga, Mopey. Please, bro. Years down the line, it's happening again over like a six-month period. I don't know how long. Just a really long time. And it's like this dude's like 25 years old and puts on a smile every single time for his own intros. And then he wants to, like, act like he forgets to put a smile on from my videos and not, like, own up to it. And it's not even, like, it was just about the <laughs> videos. Like, he would talk down to me as a person. Like, he's just... And if you look at his tweets, the way he tweets, this dude thinks he's just on another level and he's super intelligent or something. Like, and it makes me... It makes me, like, hate... Like, I'm not being a part of a group. Bro, imagine somebody new just hating. comes into the I'm chat and they just see this shit. Bro, the chat is moving. Bro, look at how fast, bro. Imagine they, it, it's somebody new in here right now. And they just looking at the chat and probably thinking, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, all right. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's just count down, okay? We're going to stop on the count of three, all right? Three, two, one, stop. Everybody go silent in the chat. Dots.
Okay. Okay. Dots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, chat. That's what I'm talking about. All right, back to normal. <laughs> back to normal schedule programming. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, chat. Yeah. I feel like uh, one of those dog trainers that just won a war for their dog. Damn. I'm not ever supporting that guy again in my life. And that's not the person <laughs> I want to be friends with. And you, you guys just want to be friends with someone that makes everything a competition and wants to take things away from you that you've done. This is, this is kind of petty stuff, but just this, like example was like... Alright, now niggas ankles. is just retarded. He made a whole video saying I didn't break his ankles. Mm, hoodies have been my thing since... Like elementary school, and I've made multiple hoodie collection videos, and he still wants to say he has better hoodies than me. Like, you can't just have custom shoes, he needs to have hoodies as well. That needs to be his thing, too. And it's like, I'm not being friends with someone that's low key hating on me and tries to devalue things I've done. Like, mm. why would I ever want to be friends with someone like that? It's the, in, in the craziest. Have y'all ever had a friend that hated on y'all? Yes or no? Nigga said, fuck this spam and shit. Anybody got me with a get this sub. <laughs> Who in the chat need to get this sub, bro? Who need to get this sub? The thing about it, too, and this just, it's its insane. Is that Because I don't got you. I'm sorry. Elementary school friend. This is a brother treating his brother's, or this is a dude treating his brother's elementary school friend with such disrespect. Like, like I can't, like... Great, great brother to do that. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just getting out of there. Here's a clip to show what I'm talking about. Not sure how long it's going to take. Let me see. Check this out. Let me see. Mind too that this happened at the Yorba Lind house. Okay. Two years ago, and it happened again. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what is good, guys? Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai Down. Yo, guys, it's Chai Down. Yo, what's good, guys? Yo, what's good, guys? It's Chai. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today I'm here with everyone in the house. What we got going on today is some two hype dodgeball. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today I'm here with Jesse, Mitchell, and James. What we got going on today is another story time video. Yee yee. The theme for this one is going to be stranded on a boat in the ocean. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Okay. All right, let's get. Just... Why do he look like an impatient bitch at a party, ready to go? No, bro. Started. If you guys haven't seen the series before, you guys will understand it really easily. Basically, I'm going to say, what's up, guys? It's Mopey. Today, we were Jesse, Zach, Chris, Mitchell, and James. What we got going on today is another guest that NBA. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today, I'm here with Nick. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is, bro? Why is this nigga looking at me like that? Bro, what the fuck? Why, why are you looking at me like that, bro? Bro. Bro. James and Jesse. What we're doing today is some Roomba fighting. I know you guys love the Roomba fighting, so we're playing that, but a little bit of a change up. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. Today I have everyone here and Mitchell. Hey, guys. Two at plus Mitchell. <laughs> what we're going to be doing today <laughs> was <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> Alright, you guys, we're going to end the video there. Leave your thoughts down below which for you guys. Oh my god, this looks so awkward. Y'all tell y'all, tell I seen all these niggas run into a hot tub screaming and shit. <laughs> Bro, I thought I was in a fucking horror movie. I thought I was in Friday the 13th, bro. That I would never... I've never seen a group of white niggas scream and yell to, and be that excited to hop in a hot tub, bro. Ever in my life. This thing is better. Shout out the guys for being in the video. Get, shout out the guys for being in the video. Go check out their channels. Links are in the description. Thank you guys for watching and Mopey out. Right. That was tough. That was really tough. What's up, you guys? It's Mopey. We have another tier list video. Today we're going to be doing YouTubers. Oh uh, boy. Why did he do that with his face? This is, yeah, this should be, this should be interesting. Today we have everyone in the house. Jesse, Chris, Zach, and James. You guys already know how it works. We have 25 different... Oh, uh, I try to... When you're putting it together, like, go on, see on this side, I think like... Okay. Oh, James, you want to sit there so you don't block it? Like, oh, am I blocking? Oh, the GoPro? Yeah. <laughs> like a guessing face or whatever. Are we looking at the TV or camera? Uh, yeah, look at the TV. Alright, thank you. Oh, Let I'm gonna eat it. it right now just to show how much I love crunch. You love crunch so much you put it in the seat here. <laughs> oh, I don't 
Wait, I'm gonna do it. Like, Bissell, give me more light. What are you doing? Tyler. Yes, I'm, no, you gotta go. What are you doing, Tyler? Fuck! Alright, I'm right here. I'm going to the right. I'm going to the right. No, Bissell, Bissell, you gotta go back around. Go back around. Go back around. Look at the top middle, Tyler. Do you see what you're doing? Go back around. Tyler, what are you doing? Bro, go to the top. Go to the top. Bro, I'm at the bottom. Last one, Bissell. Come back. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Dude, no, look at the top. Yes! The comeback is on! Like that. Chill. It's just a game. It's just a game. I so that is a representation of how he treated me <laughs> outside of videos as well. Go to the fucking top, dude. Fuck. That's crazy, bro. Like the clip where he just moved my GoPro from my shot. Like that is going on. That kind of treatment is going on outside of the videos as well. It's not an act. It was just he just just disrespect. Damn. Like, and I'm not. I'm. No one disrespects me like that and then gains my support again. Like mm. I'm out. Moving on to Zach, he's just one of the fakest people I know. Like, so <laughs> and the things he's done to other people, especially Woofy. Um, if you guys don't know, that's Zach's ex. He completely trashed her name on a live stream. I think it happened like twice or something like that. And he got me to think she was a bad person and she did him wrong when in actuality they. I ain't gonna lie, Mopium followed me like two months after I met him, bro. I thought me and Moby had, like, beef, but I was like, damn, why the fuck he don't follow me, bro? I don't never trip off a follow back, but it was just weird. You, like, hate who they hate, and you only hear their side, and then once you get out, you can hear the other side and be mind-blown at how shit actually is because you only hear their manipulative, fake side. It was the same thing that happened with Los and TD. Like, from Chris and Zach, I was not wanting to talk to Los and TD and, and Woofy. I thought she was she did bad, too. Because of things they said, but they were just... Un I think they made him unfollow me and all that shit. So, yeah. I think they did that shit. True. They made they him unfollow me. To not talk to them and keep the group, just everybody against these people. So they seem like the bad people. She was done so horrifically wrong. Like, and she couldn't even defend I don't herself. retweet tried, porn onto the timeline. So defamation, but that's a really hard thing to win on Twitch. So she just got her name destroyed online. Like, she's a good person. And I encourage you guys to... Check out her video or the pod. Or there's not pod Can y'all see my likes? Uh, like VODs, whatever the the streams, the highlight streams. The like, do they pop up on the timeline? Like, do they just casually pop up? Bruce liked this tweet. They're out there. Like, go hear her side. Don't just listen to Zach's manipulative. Terrible side, just throwing her. That's crazy. That's crazy. You never look at that dude. I that can't even accidentally like something, bro. It's, it's over with. To me about it's like done. This year, I received terrible jokes from Chris and Zach. Like terrible. Like I can't even. I can't even talk about them, and caused so much pain. Like, and I was already in such a bad place this year, and it's on me that I didn't tell them to stop. The only time the joke stopped after a period of time when I said I was taking a mental break and not being a part of videos. Then they immediately stopped. That's that's what it takes for them to stop, I guess. Damn. But hearing those kinds of jokes... Thank you for the get the subs, y'all. Robin Runs with a thousand bits. Boom! 20 get the subs right now. There y'all go. Y'all welcome. Honey, find funny. Um, I don't care to be around them and all else that Zach has done. Like, just seeing how fake in the manipulation. Like, I tried talking to him about it and he just denied it. And it's like... These guys can't own up to anything, and it makes you feel like it makes me feel crazy, like how Los, TD, and Woofy, and Walker, and everybody that's been done by wrong by these people like <laughs> are, feel crazy in some way. Like, did I do something wrong? In my, like what? Like it's no. They try to do that, and they make you feel like like they're right and that they didn't do anything. It's terrible. So I encourage you guys to check out Woofy talking about it. Los years ago talked about it. You can see the passion and anger in his voice talking about Chris and Zach because it's so aggravating that kids just go with him. Bro. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? Like, yo, what the fuck? <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> bro, I can't stop laughing, bro. Can y'all stop, bro? Oh, my God. All right, bro, can y'all stop, bro? All right, stop. Can y'all stop, bro? It's one nigga just, that's just saying leave porn in 2020. I don't understand what porn did to him. Like, it's just, 
it's so much random shit that, that's being said in the chat right now. I can't, it, niggas, the sub in tier one, close, close, thank you for the tier one, I appreciate you, thank you. TCP, thank you for the six months. Uh, Kai, thank you for the 24 months. Jalen, thank you for the five gifted. So wavy, thank you for the 10 gifted. What the fuck is going on? But y'all making my chat lag. Y'all want to do confessions tonight? It's going to be like a regular six-hour stream. We can do that. What is one thing that y'all leaving in 2020? It's your boy McLovin. Thank you for the tier one. What's one thing? What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> Arguments. Straight porn. Hi, right, bro. See. You say so. Go back and listen to what Lo said years ago. TD made an amazing video talking about Chris's terrible forty-five minute video, and just TD spoke on stuff as well. Like, go check out those things if you don't believe me. Like, the facts are out there, and like, I don't know what this dude is gonna go on live stream and say, but he could say whatever he wants and will say whatever he wants because he's like protected by Twitch and it's hard to sue for defamation. So he's going to do and say anything to keep his online image because that's all he cares about. Damn. And these dudes are going to go and work a normal nine to five job again. They are going to say whatever they can to keep their online image is including making me seem mentally unstable, which Jesse, Chris and Zach have already participated in. Like Zach was retweeting like mental illness stuff. And it's just like, it's such a joke. And moving on to Ghost Chris, I've never been months. more disrespected in my life than when I talked to Chris and went against something he wanted which was um, him and I had a conversation about the YouTuber. Nigga said, I'm 20 days sober off these opioids. Wish me luck. Hey, man, hope you get sober, bro. I, I don't know if you, I don't, bro, the way the chat looking, I don't know if you serious or not, bro. So I'm sorry that I smirked a little bit, but if you are, I hope you. <laughs> I hope you get sober, bro. I mean, I'm proud of your sobriety. I appreciate you. But I'm going to keep popping these perks. <laughs> I'm drooling this shit. Hey, bro. Nah, bro. Y'all folks hell, bro. Y'all do too much, bro. Y'all do too much, bro. Y'all, it's too much shit. It's niggas putting Naruto, Nine Tail, Fox, Dicks in my shit, <laughs> bro. It's way too much shit going on, bro. We were trading cards when I said I did not. It's want to way be part too of much this. going on. Um, That's poggers, though, just, for real. I've never been so disrespected as a person before, and what I want to just be shit on because it goes against putting money in his pockets and what he wants for his business. Like, I can't. I don't even know what to say. And the amount of terrible things he's done, like, it's been talked about a lot, but the two hype auditions, I'm bringing it up again. Like, yes, everyone in the group went with it, but that's just because Chris is just the ringleader and wants to do what Damn. he wants to do. And, like, we, we didn't, we, nobody really stopped him. It's on our, that's our fault as well. But just the fact that this dude was okay with people taking time out of their day, possibly going to sleep with thoughts about, like, thinking about joining two hype, when it was never a reality, never a possibility, just... All for his video entertainment, like, whatever. Like, it's just nasty. Like, it's so bad. And, like, the mistreatment to other people around him that I know about, like, I'll never look at this dude the same. And he could say, like, oh, he's realized a lot about himself and he's making... Any bad asses like, in the chat? In My bad. his tweet saying that he's apologizing for sugarcoating stuff, he's literally sugarcoating. He hasn't changed. Like, he should have said, I'm sorry. To be honest, bro, all of them should just link up and fight, bro. Like... They might as well box it out, bro, to be honest. They might as well just box the shit out. For lying to you guys and manipulating you guys. Like, I'm moving on from that. Like, it might as well, I'm bro. sorry for sugarcoating, which is sugarcoating the lies Where the fuck is my dad? There's so many out there. Like, he literally had to delete the 45 minutes. Thank you for the three months. Nazan, so thank you terrible. for the fucking was, resub, I can't, I can't my boy. Even watch it. I don't know how Lowe's managed thank to you. sit through it, but he tore the video apart, like, breaking down everything, how what it was such fuck? bullshit. TD, TD's video as well talked about it. Like, hey, Gifters, where y'all work at? And just the manipulation.
and then playing the victim card. Like when I put out my L hype tweet and he put out all he did. Like feel bad for John this, Dennis, whatever. Like, Senator, thank you for the twenty. Matt gets money. Thank you for the two months. Knowing how it really is, like it makes it's. That's why we're all talking about this stuff because it hurts knowing what the truth is, and then the fake agenda they put out being believed by kids. Like that doesn't sit well with us. Like we want to know. We want the, the we want the people to know what the truth is, for ourselves, so that we don't see like comments, um, like not knowing what's really going on and things up in the air and assumptions made, for us to get stuff off our chest, and for the people to know that they're literally being manipulated. Like these are just YouTubers, just trying to keep their image. They're gonna say and do whatever they want. They're not going to air out what they've done, or else they wouldn't have platforms. Like, and that's why I put out the L hype tweet on the night they won the streamies. It's like yo, I don't regret doing that. Because if you Yo, know that I knew when there's more How stuff. did this nigga get this picture of me in the paintball AMP video? How did you get this? Did Chris tweet that? Stuff I can't even talk about? then it's like, you wouldn't blame me. It's like, yeah, they don't deserve to be in that position. Like, they don't deserve to win that. Cash and Mitchell feel terrible that they're a part of this. They're great people. But the rest of them, like, no. They're very selfish and just doing it for the money. And it wouldn't be such a big deal that they're doing it for the money and trying to retire off this stuff. But it, it's the fact that they paint it like they're not. And they're good people. And it's like, that's where it's aggravating. And I'm not having it. I'm not having some fake agenda go out there about <laughs> why I left what happened to me, like, no, I'm saying the truth, and I'm putting a lot on the line, too, to tell the truth, you guys have no idea how much I walked away from to say that. Bro, seeing how wild the chat is, first stream 2021, it already feel like 10,000 niggas is in here, bro, that is, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro, what the fuck, <laughs> Yo, the chat, the chat is too fucking crazy, bro. What, what, what did y'all niggas take before y'all got in here, bro? <laughs> what no, the never fuck? Never forgive Chris and Zach for turning Jester into the person he is. Like, he's lived with them for too long, and like, I couldn't. Like, I feel pain in myself as a friend that I couldn't <laughs> do more for him and help him out. But between Chris, Zach, and James, like, I. There's nothing. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? Yo, okay, I'm sorry I keep pausing this bit, but that's because the chat is way more entertaining than this fucking video. Bro, what the fuck is this? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. What the fuck is that? Hey, hell no, nah, that shit funny as hell. <laughs> Yo. I probably could have done more, but I just have what to accept it. And fuck? Just know I can't do anything now. And hope after this that they stop treating people so terribly and they talk to people with respect. Every single person That's has to be talked crazy. to with respect by these guys and not hurt anymore. Like, knowing how they talk to, like, editors and people that are helping them out and, like... Sakari, thank you for the three months. Just, it needs to stop. And it's like, how did I stay a part of the group for so long with all this stuff happening? It's because I numb myself. Uh, you guys don't know this about me, but I need to make things combine my two lives. I've been living this mopey life, and then I have Tyler, my life, that I've been True. numbing myself and hurting myself for a while. And, um, yeah, I've been abusing uh, the sauce, the devil's lettuce. I'm not saying the word for demonetization. Yeah. But, yeah, Gary Payton. Nicotine Shit on hot right now. Past year, alcohol, like, really badly. Damn. And it got so bad this year, and I tried to quit so many times. I tried to get help. Um, you know, I put, like, this text, and like, this is a great example of the kind of support these guys offer. Yeah, this chop isn't edited well. I'm going to cry. Yo, just more heads so you guys can prepare. But I'm taking another week off from recording personal channel videos for myself, uh, excuse me, and others Sunday. I'm down to being your video Sunday, Cash, but after that, 200 mm, I'm texting me. Mm, I got the hiccups. Yo, James and Zach, have you guys started watching the Chop Draft? <laughs> wow. Fucking loser. Offer as friends. Um, talking about starting a drinking problem and stopping it and just trying to get Chat way too turned right now, bro. Just, just like it. 
Like, way too up. turned, not bro. Not a single word of encouragement <laughs> or anything. Way um, too turned. just goes back to talking about video shit. And it's like, okay, cool, great support. And then we got Jesser over here immediately texting me after once he sees that for me to be in his sponsored video. Like, I hadn't talked about these issues. Look at his profile picture, bro. Look at his contact picture. You can't trust a nigga. And then he doesn't even acknowledge it. He just asked me to be in his sponsored video. And then he says, thank you. Then I say one more thing to try to get some acknowledgement. And then he just says, proud of me. If I hadn't say that one, if I hadn't said that one text before or after thank you, it would have, conversation would have ended. And I didn't hear anything in person. Y'all can't even see it, bro. Not, no one cared about Tyler. Like, it was only Mopey. If Mopey could show up for videos. And it's like, it's it's sick. It's not it's not real friends. It's like Hey, no like spam chat or y'all gonna get timed out. Like, it, I'm out of there. I'm not being a part of it. So things got so bad with me, I had no support, couldn't quit that I went into rehab. I went into a place in LA for twenty five days. It was October twenty first that I got sober. I've been sober since. Um, I'm not counting the days, I'm trying to challenge myself to do a year, but it's been really tough. And Damn. since getting sober sober I realized, like, I'm not being around these people because they contributed to me using. Like, they do that stuff themselves, and they treat me terrible. So, like, it's not a good environment for me. I'm not being around that environment. I want to be healthy. I want to stay sober. Like, so I'm staying away from them. I told them never see Y'all don't do drugs, bro. I was not entirely open with how bad things were for me. They'll say, like, they they didn't know, and I just kept to myself. It's like, if anybody, nobody, I said I was taking breaks and I wouldn't upload and I wouldn't be around <laughs> for weeks. And like, I just, I just see a nigga end, say, I do cocaine. No one checked on me for like months and months. And like my living situation, my hallway was so bad. Just everybody walks by it and thinks nothing of it. Like what I, what's going on in my room? Like what I'm doing to myself in my room. And it's like, bro, we hit the sub so again. With my hallway that it could be pitch, it could be pitch black dark. And I memorized where to step. To not step on shit and get to my room. Like, and I don't want to blame my my living situation and how I was treating myself on them, but I'm not having... Bro, to- y'all put y'all hands up. Stop spamming, bro. Stop, bro. Stop. Hands up, bro. God damn. Go out there that they were supportive of me or trying to help me. Like, it was just me. Like, and something that re- really stood out to me as a good person was um Jeff. Actually, he and I were talking and he asked me twice, how's it going? Because the first time it's just the typical good, you know, I'm not going to just unload everything if somebody asks me how it's going. So he asked again and sincerely he asked and I told him and then he's like, let me help you. Let's move this stuff out of your hallway. That's a really big thing. If you're just living in like shit for so long, you can't, like, obviously you're going to be depressed and in a really bad place. I was like, nah, not tonight. He, he said, no, we're doing it tonight. Like, you know, you're not doing anything. Let's move the stuff. One night we moved everything out of my hallway. Which has been like that for months. Real months nigga. And months and months. In one day or one night, somebody that really wanted to see me do better and be better and be in a better place made that happen. It's like that's a real friend. Real that's nigga. I'm gonna go try to be around. Not these YouTube like gods that think they just whatever, dude. Like no, like I'm I'm getting out of there. And, and Jesse wants to go online and say I'm fighting serious demons. <laughs> Nigga, nigga just said, okay, Myers, you got me, and put two hands on the little niggas. <laughs> like, no, they're the only Yo, hell no. those guys because they're trying to paint me out to be unstable. Because I went to, like, rehab because I was using those substances <laughs> that are legal in my state. Like, I can smoke, and I can drink, and I could use nicotine products. <laughs> and they're trying to paint me out as crazy for that stuff. Like, I don't, like, it. it's a joke. To mental illness <laughs> and that they like care and it's just such a joke and it makes me sick honestly it's like yeah they care about me so much but they're screwing me over on the business side and sending me cease and desist letters and sure. doing what they're doing online talking about me like like i just want to move on from this chapter of my life and have people know what's really going on behind the scenes how they treat people and what they've done to other people like again los td mal walker walker was done really bad too i was i was I thought Walker did something wrong, but he's a good person. Walker is a good person that has been done wrong and just gets, like, just trapped on because they've made him out to be, like, a bad person, and it just sucks. And I'm, I feel shitty that I was a part of it. Hey, chat, if I was in some drama like this, would y'all be on my side? <clears throat> what the fuck? What the hell?
but I'm I'm out and I'm just glad <laughs> that I can talk about stuff and I did not sign anything keeping me from doing that. Like here's some text from Chris about I'm riding you right or wrong. All right, I think you forgot a word out of that, but I'm a, I'm a vibe with that shit. Manipulation of Los to the group and but like to me, like I had to stop being friends with Los. I'm very happy that I can talk to him again and I'm not being controlled by some dude. So yeah, it's just like, it's just dumb. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm what? Bro, like, as you feeling the more you interact with him, I'm taking the high road. <laughs> a black nigga saying he taking the high road. Man, come on, bro. Being controlled by some dude, so yeah, it's just just wondering because he says just I guess. Ooh, bars. No point even responding to him anymore. Like, like, it's just dumb. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm gonna be going over some of the terrible tweets that have been put out by these guys because they need to be talked about and just goes to show like just how ridiculous it is. Um. Starting out, I want to clarify I ain't shit, bro. this one about Chris talking about hiring security and him putting that out there without this explanation, just leading people to believe. What? This isn't even about taking a high road anymore for me. I've done nothing but respect people's privacy online, even after t having to hire private security for my own safety due to threats in my own house, too. Shaking my head. One about Chris talking about hiring security and... Him putting that out there without this explanation, Damn. Like leading people to believe that he had to hire security because of me or whatever. Like I don't know, just to play the victim card. So the reason that Chris hired security was because my dad. I had a talk with my dad and I told him everything that has gone on, and <laughs> I just sat down with our manager at the time, my ex manager, and he told he told him and he threatened Chris. Like that's that's a dad. Like I wish he didn't. Damn, do it. it's not okay, but. It's my dad just being protective of me, like knowing what this dude has done to me. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Caucasian, Caucasian, uh, my Caucasians out there, bro. Y'all parents be on y'all, y'all, y'all parents be on they shit. The good ones, you know. I mean, yeah, African American parents, yeah, they dads. We talking about dads, but every movie I see, it just made me think, damn. What if my dad was white? mistreated me when my dad shook Zach and Chris's hands that he trusted oh, bro. them to be the older guys and that I'd be not going to college and living with these guys and these older guys. Okay, and somebody just said they white with no dad. Any I don't fuck with my dadders in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, be responsible <laughs> and take care of me in a way and they not only did not, they did, they did not do that but they contributed to the bullshit. So, <laughs> yeah, my dad was pissed. And he threatened Chris. Like, bad, it's not good, but he wouldn't hurt anyone. But that's what happened with that. And then more of the victim card. Joke's on me, I guess. SMH, right? Yeah. And then um, the one about, like, acting like he was there for me more than anyone else in his life. Hmm, that sounds pretty familiar to Jesser's tweet saying he was there for me more than anyone else in his life as well. It's right, crazy. they're both there for me more than anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me let me put out these tweets showing messages of me reaching out to him and sending him videos to listen to or whatever and checking in, checking in. Like, no, it's a joke. Same thing for Jesse if he try Jesser if he tries to put out anything like of him sending me shit. Like, oh yeah, I've been extremely down. This is the type of shit that make a nigga want to cry late night. Really good. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what he's talking about with the block stuff. Like, I got blocked by him and Jidel. Like. Weeks and weeks before. So he blocked me first. I don't know what he's talking about. Speaking of Jidel, we're going to talk about his terrible tweets. Lose hmm. had a great response to an emoji that fit perfectly to the tweets that were put out by Jidel and how terrible they were. Like, he's saying group payments are larger with more people. No, they're not. If we're doing a brand deal on the channel, they're not paying. They're not going to pay more because there's nine people instead of six. They're going to pay, like, let's say 100K. That 100K is split amongst six people instead hey, of Hey, Zoe, go stupid. I'm about to go stupid more. with your time yeah. out, nigga. See, you time program. for four hours. You get that split amongst six people instead of nine people. How? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. No. Oh, my God. It's a new year. Niggas is already stealing sauce. 
I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say nothing. I'm not even gonna say nothing. I'm not even no. I, I. It's not on Twitter. It's not on Twitter. I just seen it in the chat. I just want you to know. Never type that again ever in your fucking life. I never want to see that ever again in your life, bro. I don't want to. I, I don't want to show it. I'm not gonna show it. I'm not gonna show it. I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show it, bro. I seen it in the Twitch chat, not on Twitter. I'm not going to show it. If you scroll up, you can see it. But I'm not going to show it. If you have Chatterino, you can see it, I think. But I'm not showing it. Wow. That is crazy. That is... That just... Yo, no! Okay, hold on. Wait, let me see if it's still in the chat. No, bro. Wait, what's your name? You you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. You type the emote, and it's the same. Yo. 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 Like, no, it was business. It was business for money. And he wants to say he's... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Nah, bro, niggas is so fucking funny, bro. That is, that is fucking hilarious, bro. Oh my god, that is fucking. That, I, I I can't I can't say I can't I can't say I can't even say. <laughs> bro, y'all, bro, come on, bro, like. So, so that is fucking a, hilarious, bro. He's, he's, not, he's not doing it for That is money. funny, bro. Then why couldn't he give up 1% for Mitchell? Huh? Nobody could. Nobody wanted to. Chris, that is even, like, crazy. Like, he, he laughed and not laughed, but he was like, that's all you do if you want to do that. It's like, like this it's not, That is not, just it's funny it's as fuck. Good. It's just a business. That is We're funny at this point now, bro. Business, like, like what the fuck? Like, goddamn. That's what's so frustrating about this. And then Chris's more Chris's tweets after he deleted everything and just wants everybody to move on and forget. I won't be entertaining any negativity, blah blah. blah. D- d- <laughs> the fans, I apologize for sugarcoating. He's literally sugarcoating right there. Yeah. Life bro, is- I'm about to start. I'm about to start. Uh, I'm about to start trademarking my shit, bro. For real. I'm about to start trademarking my shit. I'm about to start. I'm. T- I'm about to start collecting checks from you niggas, bro. For real. I'm about to start collecting checks, bro. For real. Dead serious. Short. Let's focus on ourselves. I'm about to start trademarking my shit. person, and life is short, guys. Just forget about it. Just let everyone move on. Focus on yourself. That's crazy. Try to comment about it. You're just gonna get blocked. Just, you're just gonna get blocked, and I'm just gonna carry on with my life and just keep being good and just doing what I'm doing. Like it, it's so frustrating. That's how that's how YouTube works. That's how the online scene works. Like they just block out the hate and they just carry on. Like check this out. These are the blocked words on the two channel. Nah, this shit right here is great. I seen this on Twitter. This shit right here is crazy. You can't comment anything negative. They don't allow any negative negativity. It's like I'm not being a part of this censor. That is crazy. Censorship of the people. Like they can't. They can't. You can't. A M P. Now that is fucking crazy, bro. That is crazy, bro. Hey, put my channel in some mode. Put it in some mode. That is crazy, bro. Put my channel some more ban the niggas who uh acting stupid. Can't criticize when you there's you get blocked and you just it's so dumb. It's nothing I want to be a part of. What was really tough actually was my name was added to the blocked word list when I was in rehab. That's crazy. When a hundred thieves joined two A, my name was added to the blocked words and they put that out there or they did that when they said that I was taking time off from videos. It's like they were just tired. Like I don't know if they were just tired of. People seeing saying where's Mopey, but they literally added me to that. Oh, like, he showed me how he got the picture. Good. And amongst other things, like seeing Chris like say no to Nate shot when he brought up my name and the way Chris said it was such in like a fu way. It's like and just more nasty weird stuff that I saw in rehab made my decision of leaving. <laughs> just the corniest shit I ever seen, bro. If your friends don't lift you up, get new friends. That shit is hilarious. Leaving. Because <laughs> that's a big reason why. Yo, I hell no. Nah. sober and decided <laughs> if I wanted to. That shit is so funny, bro. I saw a lot and thought about so much that I made it. It was a very easy decision to leave. 
So since leaving, I've been just at my mom's house. I have not been doing very much. I'm going to be trying to get back into the YouTube stuff, but its motivation has been really bad. Like this stuff has made me like consider walking away from YouTube just because I am, I like I don't I'm not going to. I want to I'm going to stay strong and make content and happily get back into it. But yeah, being around these guys, my passion has been completely just like just destroyed. Like it's not it has not been fun. <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it, but I think there's a lot that you guys can take away from this situation and I'm really I'm really bummed that you know a lot of people are probably gonna be um <laughs> Yo <laughs> A nigga in the chat just said how you mute an emote <laughs> Oh hell no nah, bro Y'all niggas are too wild bro Oh my god Y'all too wild, bro. For real. They watch for so long and look up. To that shit is just surprising yeah. to me, bro. I, Overall, that shit is just crazy, bro. Like, I, that's it's, crazy, it's bro. Like, like, I've never seen no shit like that in my you life. You gotta be, you gotta be good. Pe like, just be good people. Like, you, you don't want to make it to the top by being a bad person. And even, even chasing the money and the clout, like, you, you, you could definitely lose yourself. Like, do not chase that stuff and lose yourself. Like, be good people. Treat others with respect. Like, don't. Don't get a big head because you you have an online presence or you have a lot of money. Like, it's just, it changes people and it's such a bummer. It's very, like, I've even changed. I don't like how I've changed with these guys. Like, the same person. <laughs> y'all, bro, chill out, y'all. Chill out. Y'all chill, bro, the chill. Around are representation <laughs> of you. Chill. So, I do not want to be around those people. And that's bad energy, bro. Stop, bro. That's bad energy, bro. Chill, bro. It's 2021. What happened to positivity, bro? That's bad energy, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out. I was just surprised. I was just I was just surprised. I didn't know niggas could <laughs> I ain't know niggas I ain't know niggas was like just that bold, bro. Like niggas I mean I've been knew niggas was that bold, but I ain't know niggas was that bold. Like damn. That's crazy. That you guys, yourselves, just be, be good, happy, caring people. And don't take advantage of other people. Don't lie and manipulate. <laughs> treat us, just treat us with respect. You, you guys you guys get what I'm saying, I think. I encourage you guys to just work on yourselves and find what you want to do to be happy. Care nah, people. next video we watch, we watch a cop video. I think that's pretty much it. I don't know what's to come for 2021, but let's all hope that it's better in this year and um i hope to not make any more videos on the subject if they say some bullshit i'm going to call it out and talk about it and that's that's it but i really hope to move on from this these chapters in my life and i would appreciate just you know the respect of you guys knowing that i i didn't the reddit guys and i don't care to have any interaction with them online anymore moving forward and yeah i, I appreciate you guys messages i there's so many messages trying to support me during these times and i no i'm not watching that i don't want to watch the omega, omega shit and just not watching that forward to providing you guys with some good i don't trust that shit. i don't want to watch that not sure when that's going to be but thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching and mope be out all right now what is up with this shit where niggas think i'm What's shorter up, it's where, where niggas think i'm shorter than what the